Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I want to talk about tables in SAP Analytics Cloud. And it's actually not as straightforward as you would think with some other kind of data visualization tools. And really what I just want to show today is how to drill from one table to another and how to hyperlink to another table on another page while taking the dimensions through the other page to drill down. And this is something that I have to do at work anyway. I deal with financial data and it's always about taking a overview visualization or an overview table and then been able to drill down into the transactions. So I'll just show you here, I'm gonna create a table um, on this page I've called overview here. Um, and we gonna, I'm gonna put a model into this story and this is just a superstore model. Uh, you may have come across it in different trainings and stuff like that, it's, I think it's from Tableau. Um, and I just want to show how to bring sales from one table into another table uh, using linked analysis to start off with. So I've got a table here and um, I can put a couple of dimensions on this table. So we'll just deal with, with sales. This table has one, uh, one measure, it's just sales. So I'm just gonna add a couple of, actually I'll add a couple of rows and see how it goes here, let's see. So we've got city. Let's see, we've got city. We have, um, let's go with customer name and city to start off with. Right, and a couple of things you might know about SAP Analytics Cloud. Uh, there's a show hide functionality here um, there's a designer here, right, which you can put, you can change the look of the table. So if I want to put a border around the table, you can do that there. If I want to change the template of the table, like the report styling, you can do that here. So there's, it's, there's a couple of different templates here. I like report styling. It looks pretty, pretty nice, especially for more financial data. But what we can do here, um, is kind of the styling. You can put background colors and stuff like that if you want. That looks terrible. Um, but there's, you use this styling and you also use options here um, to style the page. So what we can do from this one is we can show and hide. And something that is weird is this, um, is this here where they don't show either, they don't show either column headers for the dimension or they don't show um, repeating dimensions by default. And you can add that in here. So if we say dimension headers in here, so that's been given my header, the city and the customer names, and I can put in my repetitive member name. So you've got your, you've got your, all your cities down here. It's not just one, and you're just supposed to know that these are all from another city. And then also in here, you can take away some of the options here. Um, so, People can't see your warnings or or this little icon here. Something actually very important is this uh, drill limitation. So there's a drill limit of 500 rows. But what we can do is we can edit the drill limitation from here um, by clicking here. And then I can choose how many rows I want uh, in the table. So 500 rows and 60 columns is set by default. If I put this into unlimited um, and press OK, then that's fine. All the t all the, the all the city and the customer um, items are there. So that's quite important. Otherwise, especially even with the export, if you leave it at five hundred and you export here and you export a point of view in CSV or Excel, it'll only come out with five hundred. So there's just a couple of very quick tips about tables. You can also hide this stuff up here if you don't want it. So you can go into again into show hide and you can take out table subtitle and table detail. So that'll just take out those little bits there if you don't want them in. <clears throat> and so the next thing I wanna show you is linked analysis. So what I'm gonna do is on this lane here, um, I can just click out a designer here and I can just put into this lane here another table. So I'm just gonna choose a table here, and this will put another table in here. And I'm gonna make this table more granular. So what we'll do is, uh, is there a 
order ID maybe. So we can go order ID, sorry, that's in the columns. Let's do that in the rows. So I think order ID should give me a lot more rows. How many rows are in here? This is 5,000, so a little bit more. So what we can do with this order ID is we can use this as a, a drill down into actual orders itself, right? So that's more that's more granular than the other table. Um, so what I can do is let's just turn the designer off for a second and I can bring this down here. So really what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to use this table to drill into this table. So here is the sales to the, to the customer from a city, but these are actually a more granular data set, which is the order ID. Some of these might only have one or two um, orders on it, but we'll see that pretty quickly. So to use this table as a drill for this table, we need to do a linked analysis. So we do it like this, we go in here, we press linked analysis, and then we can select widgets where that'll be drilled down into. So what I can do is select widgets, uh, only selected widgets, and then I can use, um, I won't click that, I'll do filter and point selection. I'm gonna go use this table to control measures. So what this will do is this will, if I click here, it's gonna only show me the corresponding items in this order table. And um, so what I'll do is I will click this table, right? So I'm using filtering data exploit points using this table to control measures. And I'm also selecting this table. So if I had a couple of different charts and graphs in the table, I can also use this linked analysis. Um, but I'm only using, I'm just using this um, this table here. And if there was if there was five other items on this, we can choose whether we can use this as a linked analysis to the other kind of charts or graphs as well. I'm just going to apply this and I'll just show you how it works. So this table will upload to this table here and I've got a drill limitation again. I don't think this is going to matter though because 500 records should be enough if I'm only looking at one item. So I clicked in here. This gives me one order ID. Let's look for a customer with a, with a, a bit of money so this will actually work. So it seems to be a one-to-one -one for most, but let's see anything in here, right? So what I'll do is I'm gonna take the dimensionality down on this. So instead of, um, let me just grab a designer here. Instead of city and customer name, I'm just gonna put in city. So this will give me a much bigger, should give me a much bigger. Here, let's see actually, what else can I put in here? Category. All right, we'll put in category, right? Category and order ID. Same, same, okay? Um, so there's only three rows now, so I only want to see, I only want to see filters on this. I only, only want to see category. So I'm gonna to go to the technology category. This is coming up with all my technology sales. I'm gonna go with the office supplies. This will filter on all my office supply sales. And the same with furniture here. I can actually select two of them if I want. And I'll show here and actually let me just increase because that dimensionality is is needs to be just taken out a bit to demonstrate this a bit further. So let's see, let's do sub I think there's a subcategory in this somewhere. So category and subcategory. Let's see. So that's okay, this is a bit more granular. You might be able to see better out of this view these here so let's get a smallish one We've got office supplies here 46,000 so there are all my office supplies and I could do two if I wanted to I think that's the great thing about this right you can go and you can select a couple of them select those two and select this one select this one and they're all filtered there and then the end user I think what I found the best thing about this is an end user wants to see like maybe four if they only wanted to see four categories here, they can just go in, they can take this down, they can export this into an Excel and do some some analysis here. You can just press OK and this exports out, which is pretty cool. Um, so another thing we can do, and another thing we can do here is I can have another page. Um, so just go to edit for a second, and I've got another page called transactions. So what I'm gonna do is let's take because I'm going to use this same table as an example on the same filtering across. 
but instead of instead of filtering across i'm going to actually have the transactions on another page and filter to the transactions so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy uh, this to the transactions page and what did i copy i just copied the tile hang on let me copy the table and um, copy this to transactions page and the tables come in there and now what i'm going to do is I'm going to link from one table one table to another table, right? So I'm going to link from this table over to that table. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a hyperlink onto this table here and you just do this by add um hyperlink. And you can link this table to another page. So I'm going to link it to a page. I'm going to link this to a specific page and the page is going to be called transactions and I can add the hyperlink selected dimension as a filter so what it'll do is it'll take furniture and bookcases if i click here and add that to, as a filter when i link across so i'm going to link that to transactions and that as a filter and what we can see when i do this is that i'm going to have a go to link here it's called navigate to transactions so i can just pick this maybe 3000 fasteners one here and I can just go go to link, navigate to transactions, and this will filter this just the fasteners. Right, so you can see here it navigates it navigates to the from the category and the subcategory over to my transactions on a different page. Now I use this I actually use this one a lot. Like we do I have some projects running where it would have um BW models and coming through from SAP and I would do a linked analysis and I would have one like overview page and one transactions page which could be 5 million transactions if it was unfiltered so I would come into the page the overview and then I would use the filter to filter back to the transactions page so I'm not bringing in 5 million rows of data I'm only bringing in as many as I need for the user to see so this stuff isn't as obvious as it might seem. Um, and I just wanted to show you that these couple of things today. So linked analysis and um, doing hyperlink analysis as well. So linked analysis is page to page and then hyperlink analysis is linking from one page to another page um, and bringing the dimensions across in order to filter, especially useful for transactions. So I hope you found that useful. Next time what I'll do is um, I'll add a bit more style to the tables. I think that's something that was lacking today, but I just wanted to cover foundations today. And the next day I'll show you how to kind of style these tables better, how to add um, headers and banners and labels and stuff like that. So your tables will look a lot more professional. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, any questions, please ask down below and I'll see you next time for another SAP Analytics Cloud video.